Anyway, this is where I was today when I was woke up for the second time with a ring, 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 and this time, oh my gosh, the phone just would not stop ringing. And I told Nico, I said, your phone is ringing, and I will come up, and he said, no, it's not. I said, I still hear it, even as I'm talking to you. And it rung, oh my gosh, so many times. Even as I was talking, it was still ringing off the hook. And it was so real. And then he goes, my phone's in here. And I couldn't understand it. And then I go, oh my gosh, this is in the spiritual. God's trying to get my attention. And so I fell back to sleep. And when I woke up and I was telling Nico at 10 o'clock, I wake up in the morning. And I'm telling Nico about the telephone, and I'm not praying out loud, and I am saying, um, you know, this has got to be supernatural. I'm hearing the ringing of the telephone. Um, what is it? What are you trying to tell me, Heavenly Father? And then I heard this much. You know, it's a call that nobody's answering, uh, and that's what happened. And and so I I started repenting, and I started and I wait. I said. A call that nobody's answered, and I said, "Well, what? What kind of call? You know?" I said, "Have I failed you in some way?" I'm. Uh, he said, it's a, "Then I heard it's a call to repent," and I said, "Oh, Abba, yeah, then I do. I, I do repent. I'm so sorry. I know I'm not perfect. I know I messed up. Um, I, I was trying to think of what I had done wrong that God could have said that you didn't repent for, and and um, I um, said I worry, really worry over this thing with you." I worry where my heart has been. I, I um, such a coldness on my heart sometimes. Um, these people are brutal, and it's been nonstop for a year. And I worry bitterness because God has allowed it. And the enemies mock and laugh. And they say, yes, you know, prophet. See, I'm still standing here. I'm still alive, and nothing's happened. And uh, it's, it's Molly, especially. <laughs> I'm love for Christ. And then I read it. Same woman was mocking him. This is my sock account. I don't know her name. Don't know these people. So as I was repenting and I was worried because that was what I was praying about the second time before I fell back to sleep. How many blessings that come forth in reaching people with the salvation message and the prophecies. But I feel like I've hurt my own self in some ways. So this uh, it's truly been a double-edged sword, this YouTube. As much as a blessing as this, it, it's been horrible. But as I was thinking and, and praying about all this and, and thinking that's why God was been angry and saying um, nobody answered the call, a call to repent, and then I heard him say, it's not you, Elizabeth. It's not you I'm talking about. He said, it's, it's those that do not answer. It's the, it's the world who refuse to answer the call to repent, knowing that I have warned only those who counted worthy will escape the great tribulation. It's those who know what they are doing and offend me and continue on in their sin. Who say I have the Holy Spirit within, that they continue on with their sin. Who make excuses, knowing I watch everything they do, whether it be porn, whether it be homosexuality, whether it be booze, whether it be adultery, fornication, drunkenness, drugs, cursing. They know I watch. They know they're to be an example. They claim the name of Jesus Christ. Even Yahushua, and yet I am far from them. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a tabernacle of sin. Yet they test me again and again. I issued a call to repent. How few have listened. It's like a telephone that rings and rings, and no one answers. I put you on a media far and wide. I put you there to show that I am a God of judgment as well as mercy. I do not lie. Yet they abuse the prophet. They call my ministry evil. They dare me, and they mock, and they say, nothing's going to happen to us. Elizabeth, go away. They say it's all by grace. It's been done at the cross. Now I can sin all I want. You see, my soul's not lost. It's you. You live by the law. You think you have to obey this God, you say. And yet we say, there's no such thing as sin. It's been done away. They hate you with a passion. They hate all who will preach against sin. They hate all who warn. You issued a call. I sent you there, a mighty wind, to warn the people, those who call themselves Christians, to repent of their sins. I've said it again and again and again. How few will listen. I sent a mighty wind ministry to YouTube and what they've done unto you. 
they do to me, and yet they claim my holy name, and yet I am far from them. They quote my words. They use them as a weapon against you, and everyone else who warns to repent and seek Yeshua's face before he wakes him off the, the world in his rage. They forget I was only that lamb once. They forget I'm coming with fire in my eyes. They forget it's the wrath of the lamb. They forget that sin I despise. They make excuses to sin. And those who are held the most accountable are those who have abused, mocked, hated, slandered a ministry that I named a mighty wind. So Elizabeth, I let you hear the telephone ring. I want you to warn them once again how few have answered the call to repent and turn away from sin. How few are going to be saved when the great tribulation begins. It's not enough to say, repent. There must be action behind those words. There must be a renting and tearing of your garments, but not in the physical way. I have said repent. I have placed this holy ministry there for all the world to see if they choose to. And yet the majority have closed their ears and blinded their eyes. They say we do not see, we do not hear you. And a mighty wind ministry and prophet Elizabeth Elijah, it's you we despise. We are the Christian community. And no matter what you say, take your mighty wind ministry and take your prophecies away. For we will continue in our sin. And you see, we're still alive. And it doesn't matter if a mighty wind ministry we despise. For your God still hasn't killed us yet. Your God hasn't even touched us. So your God must not be our God. Because our God says we can sin. Our God says we can hate you. Our God says we can destroy a mighty wind. Our God says you are a false prophet. And there is no need to repent of our sins. Oh, but you foolish, foolish people. This is I, Yahushua, that speaks through this vessel of clay. You've tempted me and tempted me and tempted me. And I've used this ministry for a call to repent. And yet you say, it's a devil that's been sent. You forget what I did to the fig tree. You forget that it was I, Yahushua, that cursed it for it refused to bear good fruit. You forget it withered and died. You forget... There is a reprobate that I despise. That fig tree represents you with a heart of stone. You who use my words. You who use my name. You who call this ministry evil because you've heard the word. Repent and turn from your sins. You hate that I have spoken. And you call her a false prophet because you think you have all knowledge. And yet I tell you you're a fool. For revelations are given to this prophet, yet you think you know everything. Yet I call you a biblical educated fool, for you just use the word that killeth. And there's no spirit in what you say. And you use the holy scriptures and say, only King James Version is going to do away with all the rest of you. You've added to it extra books. And no, we're not even going to take a look. Foolish, foolish ones. I look at your life and I shake my head. You are the ones. If you do not repent and truly turn away from sin, you are the ones I'll say. Away from me, you workers of iniquity. For I have never known you. Just because you've said a salvation prayer, you must put action behind your words. Cannot just say that you love me and not obey me. This is a lie straight from hell. This is a lie. And because this ministry is the one who tells you, and every ministry that walks in my holiness, that refuses to compromise with sin and sinners, you who call yourself the Christians, there is no holiness in you. And you despise anyone who comes to you with the spirit of holiness, with my anointing upon their face. And it's not changed from times of old. You despise anyone who speaks my words, who are anointed and bold. And so I've given Elizabeth the sign as you go very soon into what you call another year. There's been a call to repent. And oh, how few, how few are listening. 
or even hear the telephone ringing. Don't you yet understand? Don't you yet understand? The only way into heaven, you must answer the call. You must hear that telephone ring. You must answer the call. To repent and turn away from sin. Stop making excuses. Because soon it's going to be too late. And the harshest judgment is going to come on those who have treated this ministry that I have placed on a media with so many eyes and ears. And you've known about it. And you've not defended it. And you've hated her words because I shouted loud and clear, Repent. Repent and turn away from your sins. You'll pick apart the prophecies and use your own human intellect. Although I've warned again and again, it's only by the Holy Spirit you'll understand. The words that are spoken are not to be interpreted by the intellect of man. Each prophecy, without exception, leads people to repent, leads people into my loving arms, leads people and teaches them holiness. They are not the words of a woman or a man. I only use this vessel of clay, the very one you have hated and abused. Said we will destroy you. We will humiliate. We will speak our words of hate because we can. We will even steal and defile the very name of the ministry of Almighty Wind because you dare to call us sinners and you dare to expose our sin because we cannot stand the holiness on your face or the faces of the workers that work by your side and so we tell everyone to make sure they too despise and do not listen to the holy prophecies for they are false and so you blind them oh you hypocrites and so you deafen them oh you reprobates i will show you what i'll do because of your hate There is no Holy Spirit within you. You are Satan's spawn. And I have been patient with you for oh so long. I put a last chance ministry before the coming days of doom. And remember what you've done to her. You've done unto me. You shall stand before me in a court of law that comes from heaven. And you'll stand before my face. And I'll remind you of your words of hate. And I'll say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. For I have never known you. I have never known you. My Holy Spirit, either with you long ago, or never was even in you. So, Elizabeth, I let you hear the telephone. I let you hear how long it's been ringing. Just a symbol of it. Eight times. For some will listen, and it will be their new beginning. And they truly will repent. And they will truly know that a mighty wind ministry is holy. And it's a ministry that is God sent. To all of those who will humble themselves, turn away from their sins, and with their mind, body, heart, and soul, they will truly, truly repent. They will truly, truly repent. These are the words I have to say. You answer that call, O holy ones of repentance, each and every day. Even you, Elizabeth, you said, What is it that I have not answered? How is it I have not repented? Oh, please forgive me any way I fail you, for I know I am not perfect. And I said unto you, Elizabeth, it's not you, for you hear my ring, and you answered my call. And all those who minister by your side, and all those who know that a mighty wind ministry speaks forth the truth and has not lied, they've answered the call to repent. But then there are some who know the truth is in this ministry, and yet they test me, and they believe it's just enough to know you. They believe it's just enough to read the prophecies. They believe I'm always going to have mercy and there'll be no consequences to sin. These are the ones I'm going to judge the most heavy. For they do not realize they are held accountable for the sins that I despise. So tell them, my daughter, they want a new word to come forth. Tell them how pleased I am to those that go the extra mile, who not only strive to obey me each day, but believe and speak and share the words I say. That they're not afraid of offending a man, for their sole desire is pleasing me. Yahushua, for they know their rewards will come from heaven. So tell him, my daughter, you be that Elijah of new, that I've given you the anointing and a job to do. You tell him, my daughter, though they'll spit in your face. You warn him, my daughter, very soon they'll be wiped off the human race. You tell him, my daughter, oh, I'm coming again, I'm coming again, but this time it shall be with fire in my eyes. And I'm not talking about when I call my bride to my side. I'm talking about the enemies who are as that fig tree. I shall curse it. 
and it will wither and die for all to see. You kill him, my daughter. You be that brave prophet. Stop caring what women and men say. You tell him, my daughter. You tell him for me, for that is the ringing of the telephone. You have a call to be a prophet. You answered it long ago. I'll not let you not pick up that telephone. It is a calling upon your life that you cannot escape. For I have called you, my daughter, to warn this human race. Before the tribulation is here, the time of Jacob's trouble, oh, and for so, so many, it will be too late. These are the words I have to say. Though once again the enemies will send you mock and hate, just know this. They're not of me, just know this. They're not sent of me, just know this. They are Satan's children, the bride of Satan, the reprobate, the workers of iniquity, and with their souls they shall pay, with hell and the lake of fire as their soon coming fate. Just don't keep those words of hate. Give them to me. I can handle them. You cannot. They're not even meant for you, O oh, holy ones. The words of hate are meant for me. The mockery, the insults are meant for me. They cannot behold the anointing and the holiness that placed upon all who are mine, especially my bride, who strive each day to please me and serve me and worship me and call me Almighty God and Lord, ruler of their life, master, savior. They acknowledge me. These are my bride. They take the abuse. They take the hatred. They are cursed. They are slandered. Their name is spoken of as evil. These are my bride. And oh, so quickly I'm going to draw you by my side. You know who you are. You receive the truth coming forth. You know who you are. You recognize the good fruit in this Almighty Wind ministry. For as a mighty wind, it's rushing over this earth. And now I take it in so many different languages. And there's many more to come. You know who you are, oh precious bride of mine. How do you know? Because you've been hated. You've been slandered. You've been despised. You've been cast out as evil. When all you do is try to please me in every way. And you tell the sinners to repent and turn away from sin. And you've been abused because of it. You know who you are. But you do not just speak of holiness. You live a life of holiness. And you never premeditate sin. You are my bride. You are my first fruits. So few of you when I look over this earth. But you are my bride. And it's you that I love and treasure. As your enemies that are my enemies. Like unto Esau's, I do despise. Do you take these words, Elizabeth? You warn them. The telephone's ringing. I've sent you as a prophet to tell them how many are, have heard it and yet refuse to acknowledge they've heard it. So I tell you, O oh prophet of mine, tell them the call to repent. Tell them what I let you hear. And there will be those who will repent and turn from sins. And the telephone, you tell them that it's ringing. They will hear. They will hear. And they will be forgiven. And as the number eight says, we will have a new beginning. All because I have a prophet that's willing to be mocked and despised for my name's sake. As you shout out, answer the call to repent. The telephone is ringing from heaven. For I love enough to warn through my Elijah of new. I'll go even your name. Elijah is despised. Just remember the spirit of Jezebel chased the Elijah of old. And can you expect anything less? Can any holy prophet expect anything less? Can any of the bride of Yahushua, my bride, expect anything less? For if they would have received me, if all would have received me with love, they would be receiving you. But you look over this earth, and I even send the cold to show the hearts of stone. And yet they don't repent. They don't turn away. They say that I'm a God of only love and mercy. And I don't even convict of sin. But they're going to see. That's why there's going to be a, what is called a great tribulation. So thank you, Elizabeth, for answering the call. For if you were living in sin, you wouldn't have even heard the telephone ring. But you did. And it rang eight times. Because for many, many will listen. And this will be their new beginning.